Hello everyone, I'm Craig from Server Factory and today we're at a Broadcom partner event just outside of Munich in Germany. We are sat down with Dominic from Broadcom and we're going to be talking a little bit about hardware RAID and the differences between hardware and software RAID. Would you be able to give a very brief introduction to your job role and what you do for Broadcom? Sure. Uh, hi Greg. So uh, I'm Dominic Mutterer. I'm responsible for the European storage business within uh, Broadcom, for general business actually. Right. Okay. So what is the differences between hardware RAID and software RAID? So uh, basically, um, uh, uh, f for hardware RAID, you, you need an, an additional um, uh, add-on controller, uh, add-on PCI Express card, um, uh, where you connect the, uh, um, the hard disk drives or the SSDs um, next to it. And um, uh, the major differentiator um, is the, uh, um, the offload um, of the storage task to that PCI Express adapter, um, uh, meaning uh, going away from uh, um, driver operating system uh, dependency, uh, just really rely everything on, on the card. Okay, so why would someone choose hardware RAID instead of software RAID? So uh, there are different options. Um, uh, looking in the, in the past, um, uh, uh, software RAID is the cheapest option to go with, mm -hmm. um, uh, literally because it, uh, it's not a cost adder. Um, uh, but uh, the benefit for a hardware RAID controller um, could be speed, um, uh, especially in the hard disk drive area. Um, um, that was the, the main uh, reason in the task uh, in, in the past, and also um, the independence of the uh, of the platform. So that means um, if the platform is failing somehow, you're um, literally able to take your hard disk drives and move them into a new server system and. Um, Speed, uh, run them up and um, uh, your data is accessible. Okay, so what, how has Broadcom made advancements within the hardware RAID sector? So uh, first of all, we introduced um, uh, two years back um, uh, our first generation TriMode um, uh, controller. Uh, TriMode stands for um, the ability to connect um, NVMe, SAS and SATA devices to the same card um, at the same time. So um, literally, you have the uh, phone. So you have the possibility to um, benefit from all technologies um, at the same card um, and make that interoperable. So um, uh, that was the first one uh, we stepped into, um, supporting then NVMe devices and um, uh, being the first one uh, offering hardware RAID for NVMe devices, uh, which was um, quite a very important uh, ask from a lot of enterprise customers or also um, small and medium um, customers, which want to take advantage of the speed of NVMe, but um, also want to have a data protection layer uh, next to it. So not okay. also having something reliable. Um, and um, just right now, we, we launched our second generation and made substantial improvements for performance. Um, uh, so we uh, also then uh, uh, give the ability to the NVMe devices or the users of the NVMe devices to um, have a higher level of speed. And also, um, uh, we uh, made that platform on PCI Express Gen 4, uh, which gives us the ability to um, widen up the, the, the bottleneck of the uh, controller host interface. Okay, what about in the future then for hardware RAID? So, um, and that's a very interesting question. So, um, uh, we're, um, the data is increasing, um, uh, the hard disk drives, the SSD capacities are um, tr dramatically increasing, and um, a major um, uh, topic for um, users with a hardware RAID controller or with hardware RAID is rebuild time uh, once a drive has failed. So um, looking at the rebuild times, um, they are dramatically for 16 terabytes onwards, um, so for high capacity drives, uh, literally, um, they're like a, like a week. Um, to mm. rebuild the whole data, and um, uh, what we are going to do with the uh, with the upcoming generations over the next uh, couple of years is um, we are um, we are going to remove um, the bottleneck um, between the CPU um, and um, uh, the the storage subsystem, um, uh, literally the the controller architecture, um, uh, to make it very um, uh, efficient, um, having a extreme high performance. Uh, and also with that, uh, reducing the uh, uh, rebuild times massively. So like we are talking then for uh, like an hour for rebuild time. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay, thank you very much for coming onto our show and giving thank a brief introduction to Hardware Raid and what Broadcom is doing to improve the industry and move the industry forward. Uh, this is only the second video out of three, so feel free to subscribe if you would like to see the third video. Thank you very much for watching and make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you.